Good day new normal learners. This video lesson is made following the most essential learning competencies or MELCs issued by the Department of Education. Our lesson in this video is for the first quarter. This is the third module and it is about the processes and landforms along the plate boundaries. This is the list of names of the development team that make this module. Remember that we can use the modules for our study, but we are not allowed to reproduce them without permission. It is against the law. You have previously learned that the convection current in the Earth's mantle caused the crust to break into smaller segments. Spaces in between or plate boundaries are created. These plate boundaries are named according to the relative movement of the plates with each other. Also, we have studied that the lithospheric crust is categorized as either continental crust or oceanic crust. Continental crust carries land. It is thicker yet less dense compared to oceanic crust. Oceanic crust carries water. As we review how the lithospheric crusts move. Let us use these following illustrations. In A, the arrows point toward each other, so it shows a convergent boundary. With this type of boundary, plates meet or converge. In B, the arrows point away from each other, showing a divergent boundary. Here, the plates separate or move away or diverge while in C, arrows slide past each other, illustrating a transform fault boundary. Our third module has three lessons. The first lesson is about the processes and landforms along with convergence of plates. Convergent boundaries happen when plates move toward each other. Converging boundaries has three types. The first type is oceanic crust bumping to continental crust. When an oceanic crust converges with a continental crust, a crack between the crusts underwater, called trench, is formed. Trench is also known as the submarine valley or the deepest portion of the oceanic crust. Since the oceanic crust has greater mass due to the presence of water on it, so, its density also is greater. This causes it to dive down or subduct under the overriding plate, the continental plate. Subduction is the process by which a plate dives under a less dense plate. At the mantle, the leaking edge of the subducting plate melts or becomes fluid. It turns into a hot molten material which we call magma. Due to the heat in the mantle, the magma builds up a pressure that enables it to push the ground above it. The column of rising magma is called a mantle plume. This is the mantle plume in our illustration. When there is volcanic activity such as an eruption, the ground moves, and so an earthquake is felt. Because subduction continues, a group of volcanoes, called volcanic arc, is formed at the surface of the continental crust along the boundary where the two crusts converged. The movement of the ground may cause a disturbance in the ocean. The water may flip or kick upwards to a few meters high. This is what we call tsunamis, a Japanese term for harbor wave. This event is very dangerous when it moves inland, destroying lives and properties. Another type of converging boundaries happen when two oceanic crusts collide. The figure shows two crusts underwater, so they are both oceanic crusts. You must have noticed that there is a boundary line between the crusts, a trench. It is a crack on the crust which is underwater. Trenches are the deepest parts of the ocean floor. The front part of the subducting plate becomes magma upon reaching the mantle. Then it builds up pressure due to heat, pushes the crust above it, forming a volcano. This is a continuous process. Since the plates are moving, the volcano will move with the plate. It becomes extinct when it is no longer above the magma deposit in the mantle. A new volcano will then be formed. This series of volcanoes is called Volcanic Island Arc since it is surrounded by water. Converging oceanic crusts explains why the Philippines is mostly loaded with volcanoes. The different islands were believed to have originated from the convergence of two oceanic crusts. The last type of convergent boundaries happen when two continental crusts collide. Converging continental crusts or plates result in a collision zone, which could cause shallow earthquakes. At that place, a crack called fault is formed. 
This type of convergence will cause no subduction since the two plates have the same densities. There would be no volcanoes formed, no tsunamis. The convergence will result in a group of high landforms that we call mountain ranges. At this point we are going to discuss the second lesson of our module which is about the processes and landforms along divergent boundary. Divergent plate boundaries mostly happen under the oceans. As plates pull away from each other, a vertical space that may extend deep down into the lowest layer of the crust is created. It is a rift valley. The force of separation creates a tension zone. A shallow earthquake may happen with this plate movement. Plate divergence is believed to be a slow continuous process. As the plates move away, the gap between them increases. While this happens, materials from the mantle may rise, filling up space. These materials pile up near the tension zone forming mountain-like structures called oceanic ridges. But new materials from the mantle may push the old ones. The filled up space between the plates becomes a new seafloor. This process is known as seafloor spreading. The last lesson in our Module 3 is about the processes and landforms along the transform fault boundaries. This third type of plate boundary is mostly found in oceans, but there are few that traverse through continental crust. This is characterized by plates moving horizontally against each other, producing a crack called fault on the ground. The force the plates exert can break the rocks and other materials under the ground. The shaking usually ends abruptly. This is why it brings about strong earthquakes. The fault could swallow humans, cars, and buildings. Murky odorous water from under the ground may spring up from the fault. Most faults do not totally close when the shaking ceases since the adjoining edges have already moved farther from each other. Congratulations! You have just finished Module 3. To get full discussion on the three types of plate boundaries, check the links below. Oops! Our class is over. See you next time. Take care.